Unlock the secrets of franchising success with the Franchise Life Podcast, hosted by Stacey Shannon. Join us for expert insights, success stories, and practical tips every week. Subscribe now and take your franchise journey to the next level. Hello, and welcome to The Franchise Life. Today, we are featuring an emerging brand called Degree Wellness. And with me, I have Kim Morano, Franchise Development for Degree Wellness. Welcome, Kim. Thank you so much for having me, Stacey. I'm so excited to be here. Absolutely. Okay. So you just shared with me that the way Degree Wellness is positioned is that it is a tech company in the wellness space. So so what does that mean? I mean, well, first, instead of jumping into that, what is Degree Wellness? Degree Wellness is kind of like your one-stop shop for all of you, your wellness services, biotherapy, cold plunge, saunas, IVs, boosters, facials, all in one location, one monthly membership where you can enjoy all of these services. But the best thing about all of the things that we offer, every one of our equipment is a set it and forget it type of business model, where from an employee perspective, you really set the machine to go and you leave that customer to do their service and enjoy allowing the business owner to operate extremely lean. This is not a very employee heavy business. At most operating hours, you'll need two, maybe three employees if you're busy. Um, That's really the beauty of Degree Wellness and allows us to keep a lot of that profit margin to the bottom line for the business owner. Okay, so you mentioned a few of the different revenue streams or services that you guys offer. How is a facial uh, uh, set it and leave it? So can you just highlight that for me? (laughs) We, of course, we use a Saluma red light facial. So it's a red light facial system that is just like a flexible light. Um, The difference between the facial machine and just red light panels, our facial machine was, um, it's invented by NASA. This is NASA technology that was made for the astronauts to promote wound healing in outer space. You can imagine at a cellular level, what this does for acne scars, fine lines, wrinkles, um, melasma, any tiny issues on your face. This is full cellular rejuvenation over a 15 minute, you sit with the red light on and it's just a very relaxing environment. All included That's... in the same monthly membership as your cryotherapy. So, okay. I, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here because I just want to dig in. I mean, I learned about this concept within the past month. And I know there are, there's at least one, maybe two other concepts that are a one-stop shop for many of these types of services. But at a much higher investment level, which can be very prohibitive for for many investors that are looking at this space. So again, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself, but uh, this was a brand that was established in 2018. Uh, As I understand it, there's four corporate locations. Is that correct? There's three currently open and the four is going through pre-sales right now. They're expected to be open in October. Okay. And just started franchising this year in 2024. So a lot of open territory throughout the United States. So let's talk about, okay, how many different services actually does Degree Wellness have? Quite a few. So it's full body cryotherapy. You walk into the chamber, it gets head, neck, and shoulders, everything. So it's great for headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, in addition to any other inflammation throughout your body. Infrared sauna. Um, We also are franchising with red light therapy, the wall panels that change everything, gosh, from a cellular level too. Um, They're also great for fertility, joint pain. Gosh, muscle growth and uh, rehab rehabilitation. Uh, we also do cold plunge. That's Saluma light facial. 
We also offer uh, compression leg massage and uh, I guess I should say localized deep tissue massage through the Normatec machines and also oxygen bars. Those are all of our core services. Additional services are things like IED therapy, vitamins and booster shots, as well as NAD, which helps with anti-aging. What's fascinating is many of these services that you just highlighted are, there are brands out there that just specialize in one of those. So cold plunge, there's franchises that are just cold plunge. There's LED, you know, sauna franchises. And this is about, you know, six or eight different services all in one location. So one might, you know, when considering this, one might think that this is a heavy investment, but uh, typically I save this for the end. But what is fascinating to me is the investment range for degree wellness given all that, let's say, capital equipment that you'll be investing in is only between 349000 and 687000 which is pretty phenomenal. So what does a build out of degree wellness look like from a square footage standpoint? Do you offer any type of financing for some of the equipment? Help help us better understand that, Kim. Yeah, that's a really great question. So we do, we do offer in-house financing. We also, we have the backing of Brandworth. They're the leader in sustainable franchise growth and they've helped grow a number of franchise brands from 10 units to hundreds of units. Because we have their backing, we do also have their buying power. So we're able to get a lot of our equipment at a nice discount for franchisees, of course. Um, as far as we offer in-house financing, which does bring that investment way down. If you want to do your entire build out, less than let's say $400,000, you'd be financing all of this. If we're looking at what size build out we're looking for, um, the perfect sweet spot is going to be right around 1,800 square feet. We'll go as small as maybe 1,700 square feet, as large as, let's say, 2,000. If you want a larger location, we will do a lot of the market research in your area to determine what's the competitive advantage, what are the buying habits of the people in your area, and then how many types of different machines do we need? Is it best if your location has two cryotherapy machines and less saunas? Or do we need more saunas and fewer cold surfaces? We do all that research for you. So how many rooms does that equate to? Um, just in, say, a typical, if you had one room or one service uh, per build out, what does that look like from a number of rooms? That would be seven to nine, depending on the footprint. And while one of those services will be a cold plunge, a cryotherapy, red light, um, the sauna, they'll also have some rooms that are dedicated to the contrast therapy, which is a big differentiator between what degree can offer and some of those single modality competitors. Offering the contrast of a hot and cold therapy in the same session is a total game changer. Once you've tried that, you will not want to go back to the service where you're only getting one or the other. Have you tried that personally, Kim? I sure have. Um, what's so amazing about the services at, at Degree Wellness, yes, this stuff is going to change lives. If you have autoimmune diseases or any kind of an issue like that, this the services we provide make a market difference. But when we were in Jacksonville and we interviewed the staff and members who would be coming often, everybody cited you know, I started working here or I started coming here because I had a tweak in my elbow. I wanted to get back to the gym faster. I had something going on where I wanted to achieve X. And then after a certain time, they talked about their mental health, how mentally they feel more sharp, happier, and just overall healthier than they've ever felt before. The difference in their mental health is what keeps people coming back and keeps memberships really high. So on the note of memberships, what does a membership look like at Degree Wellness? 
We have three different tiers of memberships, the core, the ultimate, and the premier. At a core membership, you're able to get any two services per month. At the ultimate, you can get any eight memberships per month, and these are all mixed and match. Or at the premier, you can get 30. So premier is almost like you're coming in every single day and utilizing one or every other day, and you get that, co that contrast therapy session. And what does the average ticket look like for each of those? And I do know, you know, depending on where the location is, you know, it could, it could, you know, be a little bit different slightly, but on average, what does it look like? Right. Pricing tiers will have a little bit to do about the specific market we're in and what that competitive landscape looks like. But currently our average ticket is around 144 which is a little bit higher than that uh, ultimate membership, but also about 22% of all of our revenue is coming from non-members. Those are people who just pop in to use a service once a month or so, or only come in and do the IV therapies, which are additional services available. So, okay, you mentioned this is a low employee model, which is very attractive to any investor. Uh, it, it, this is a very simple model. There's not a lot of moving parts in it. No but inventory. You, that is fantastic. So when you talk about IV therapy, many times that does require a nurse to be on staff. So can you talk through uh, that aspect because you know you're you're starting to bridge over into somewhat of a medical facility <laughs> yep i get it so um, what does that look like we have it completely dialed in how we're finding these nurses that's all part of the playbook we give to our franchisees how to be the most successful um basically our nurse employee and this is an important part to remember any of the employees who work with Degree Wellness will receive complimentary monthly membership. Because from a business owner perspective, it costs you nothing to turn on the machine and then it costs you nothing extra to put more bodies in the machine. So our franchisees are all giving complimentary monthly membership to all of their members, or I'm sorry, to all of their employees in exchange for working at the studio. So a lot of the employees end up being super members, people who want to use the services and now want to get those services for free. So yeah, come work, give us a couple shifts. When we're thinking about that IV technician, which is a more technically trained position, these are only needed for part-time hours. Um, and ideally we're gonna find a nurse who has some experience in the ER and is already starting to feel burnout. They've worked so hard to get there. They've been doing this position for a couple of years and man, they're working hard. They'll gladly give you one or two shifts a week to work at Degree Wellness in exchange for utilizing that entire monthly membership. They become your best customer. But also all of our IV technicians are also required to greet members, run tours, run wash, flip rooms. They're doing everything our sales technicians are doing, which is the key to running so lean. So does this require a medical license at all? No. No. Okay. That is fantastic because many times that, you know, when you're, you're talking about IVs and nurses, many times it does uh, filter over into that requirement. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. So I noticed on the website also that aside from services, there's a wellness guide and it talks about pain and inflammation, beauty and anti-aging, metabolism and weight management. So how does that uh, work into the overall degree wellness brand? Yeah, when you come into a degree wellness, when you meet with one of the sales technicians, they're going to be trained on what services have what types of features and benefits. So if you were to come in and say something like, you know what, I'm really just looking to get more energy and maybe burn a couple calories a, a week or just burn, lose a couple of pounds, whatever. They'll tell you which services are available that will help you achieve those results. And that's kind of going to be the difference from a franchisee perspective, your A player employees and your B player employees. 
those B players, they'll know features and benefits, but the A players are really the ones who are able to see the opportunity that somebody's coming in with and translate that opportunity into services. Because when you come to that member with the education focus background, they're way more likely to come in, utilize the services and sign up for memberships. I love it. All right. So the way we started out this podcast was introducing Degree Wellness as a tech company in the wellness space. So what does that mean, Kim? So it's Amanda, Amanda uh, Lightcap, she's our founder and brand president. She has a really incredible story. Um, I don't want to get too far into it, but basically she has a background on Wall Street, is Silicon Valley. She founded two other tech startups before she ever even came to Degree Wellness. And she kind of fell into this business almost by accident. Um, she had gotten a call from her doctor that she had thyroid cancer and started doing the research to all of a sudden, I've got anxiety and brain fog. What should I be doing? I'm, I have this gnarly scar. What should I be doing? And all over the internet, it told her, Hot and cold therapies can help with X, Y, and Z, and the sauna and the red light can help with scarring. So she found her local degree wellness and started going and started going a lot. She felt her best she had ever felt before. Brain fog was gone, anxiety gone, and that scar started to look a lot better. Um, in 2022, I believe, the studio was for sale and Amanda and her team bought it. Uh, they were running it for about two years very successfully and then said, you know what, we're successful here. The entire country should see the benefits of these services. We're going to start franchising. They started franchising earlier this calendar year. A few months later, they got the private equity backing from Franworth. And a few months after that, Franchise Fastlane came on board. It's one of the very first brands to ever be approved by both Franworth and Franchise Fastlane. So as you can imagine, this is going to move quickly. Um, as far as tech, all of the services that we use are tech focused. We're not bringing in any other services that are going to require employees to spend more time with members, but also our marketing is so dialed in. They have customer acquisition costs nailed down to know what service is going to be the lowest cost to acquire a customer, bring them in, and then transfer them to other services because we offer so many different services under one roof, this is extremely sticky. People like this, they wanna try more things and then they upgrade from the core membership to the ultimate, from ultimate to premier. That is fantastic. So, you know, I'm looking at some of your marketing material and uh, you had mentioned already that about 20% is from, you know, just drop-ins per se, which then translates to 80% of the revenue is recurring revenue from your members, which that is, that is really, really high and really impressive because in turn, what that means for any investor is you're able to project the next month's revenue and so forth. So with the models, is there, the membership models, is there a minimum commitment that's required uh, once once they sign on? No, we don't. Um, if you want to end your membership, we do ask if they remain to the end of their month so that we're not giving like partial month refunds or anything like that. Um, but that's it. This is the kind of thing that people want to stay in on. And when you chat with our current locations, they talk a lot about how you know, the only time we really lose people is when they move. Their rent moves and they move and they just move further away. If they're in driving distance, they want to stay. So, okay. What does your ideal candidate look like then for a degree wellness? Who are you targeting as investors? We like to say if there's somebody who wants to make a difference in their community, those community builders, they're going to be a great fit for us. Um, we've got a great corporate culture here. I mean, we're selling happiness. Like these services change lives in such a meaningful way that your members are going to love what you are offering. 
And if it's somebody who gets excited about bringing these types of offerings to the community, they're going to be a great franchisee and a great culture fit. As far as do they have a background in health and wellness? Not a requirement. We do have some folks who come from Orange Theory and that kind of background, and they're great in the system, but it's definitely not a requirement. And I would like to say, and I'm sorry if I'm going to go a little bit off base here. We talked a little bit about memberships and how meaningful that can be for an investor. I want to talk to you a little bit about our pre-sale marketing. You know, we spoke about um, the tech focused business of this and how dialed in our marketing is. We really focus on pre-sales to make sure that our locations are open, profitable on day one. And this is something I can brag on because it's in our item 19. Our third location opened the 144 members in the Jacksonville market. They need maybe 95 to 100 members to be profitable. I like to tell my candidates, maybe you'll need 100, 110, dependent on where you are. But to imagine they opened with 144 members on day one, that's incredible. And our fourth location, currently in pre-sales, they're on track to beat that number. So impressive. And that pre-sale, that is so significant for, for any investor. I mean, and the fact that this has been positioned as a tech company, and as you said yourself, Kim, that they have the marketing dialed in, that, that's pretty powerful. So you mentioned the item 19, which also has some pretty uh, phenomenal financials that are outlined and at a lot of detail went into this item 19, which, which is pretty fantastic as well. So can you talk us through, I know that you showed, these are going to be representative of corporate locations. Of course, we already said degree wellness just started franchising in early 2024. So we need to get another year or two under the belt to be able to show what a franchise location uh, financially will be able to do, but can you just give us some of the highlights of Studio One and Studio Two? Absolutely. Um, so Studio One is in Class B real estate, which means these are not new builds. These are maybe older location buildings. The rent is a little bit more affordable. Maybe they're off the beaten path. That is our best performing studio. As long as it's got ample parking, members want to go. Um, so when we're looking for our franchise locations, we're going to put you in Class B real estate. Studio 2, on the other hand, is Class A real estate. So it's just a little bit more expensive in the rent. Um, but when you look at bottom line numbers, Studio 1 is outperforming Studio 2 in a major way. Studio 1 at an investor model, net income adjusted to the bottom line is over 30% profit margins, which are incredible numbers for a brick and mortar. If you're gonna be owner operator and you're gonna be involved in the day-to-day, -day, we're looking almost 40% profit margins out of Studio One. But of course that is our premier location, um, Class B real estate, they are the best on paper, but on average, our studios are bringing in a little bit under 30%, about 27% profit margin at the bottom line investor level. For those of you who want to get involved as an owner operator, we're closer to 35% profit margins. Again, incredible numbers for brick and mortar. And that just really speaks again to the lean model, mm -hmm. a very simplistic, minimal moving parts technology-based company. Uh, so what does, you know, this is, investor model can be used uh, in many different ways. So what does an investor model look like with Degree Wellness? You're hiring a general manager from day one. Dependent on how involved you want to be as an investor uh, would depend if that GM is an hourly worker or somebody who's brought on full-time. If they're hourly, they'll need maybe 30, 35 hours a week. They're going to be handling a lot of the day-to-day. -day. You'll then be managing the manager. They'll do staffing. They'll be um, membership bookings. They'll be organizing tours and things like that. But ultimately, 
from the investor model, it is absolutely doable. Your GM will be able to handle three, maybe even four studios before you'd wanna elevate them to a regional manager and bring in somebody else for that fifth studio. All right. All right, Kim. Well, thank you so much for being with me today. I greatly appreciate it. It's I envision these next six months are going to be pretty remarkable for the brand and the growth. So with that said, for anybody that is interested in learning more about degree wellness, please feel free to reach out to me at Stacy at fusionfranchising.com. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks for listening. Subscribe for more on the franchise life.